So I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm glad the officer's okay, but I hate that it took something like this to happen for us to get the attention. So hopefully they'll clear the woods out now. Hopefully. Have you That's called the cab police yourself? Oh, we've, I'm the homeowner association president, so we've been very closely involved with everything going on. But it's just been the Cab County has taken a hands-off approach, you know, from the county CEO. From what I understand, the police have been told don't engage. So APD has been responsible, but this is not even APD territory. So we're not even patrolled by APD. We're in Cab County, but the cab has been told to stay. You know, don't engage with the you know people in the woods and all of this. You know, so after the arrests that happened last month. That's when all of everything starts to, you know, ratchet up. But unfortunately, we knew this would happen if they didn't clear the woods out. So the arrest last month, four people? Four or five. Yeah. And that didn't help? It got a little quieter, but they're still in the woods. So they've been in the woods ever since then. They've just been doing different types of protests. They've, they've been in the woods. You know, from what I understand, they went in this morning to patrol, you know, knowing that there were people in the woods. So... You know, it hasn't done any, it, it hasn't done enough. So then now they are, in fact, addressing your concerns. If they went into the woods this morning. Well, they've been doing that. They've been doing that every week. So they've been going in the woods every other week or so. So they've been doing that. Last month, we had two homes burned down around the corner. We had... Burned down? Three new homes, two new homes under construction right around the corner here were burned down. The protesters were standing right outside after it happened. Was anybody arrested? No. No, no one was arrested because they had to determine that it was truly arson. But it was two homes. There was four homes around the corner under construction and new development. Mm -hmm. Two were burned down to the ground. You can drive around the corner and see all two homes. Two homes are burned down. Uh, Mark Bolden. Mark Bolden. B-O-L-D-E-N? Yeah, yeah, Mark and M-A-R-C. So, again, this has been going on. And they've been, you know, oh, we're peaceful, we're peaceful. But, you know, they're shooting at an officer. They've been throwing rocks and... You know, we had fired Molotov cocktails. I mean, what's, what's the list? We had two homes burned down. We had heavy equipment lit on fire over here. Uh, there was a diesel tank there when they lit those on fire at four in the morning. My home is right on the other side of this fence. You know, had that exploded, it could have entered my home or one of my neighbor's homes. You know, but these are things that have been happening nonstop. You know, they go to the, you know, Brassville Gory executives' homes. You know, they get run off from there. But here in DeKalb County, it's just, you know, nothing happens. And, you know, it's just, well, thank it's you, sad. Mr. Bolden, no for problem. taking the time to talk. No to problem. Appreciate it. Yep.